The Flyers lose this one to the Rangers 6-3. to three. Welcome to Post Game Live presented by Cure Auto Insurance. Ashlyn, Scott, and Al here. To break it all down, it was a close game. It was an incredibly exciting, entertaining second period, and then the game got away from them really quickly in the third. Yeah, the score is not indicative of, of what went on. I, I like the Flyers' effort for the most part. Uh, uh, if you put uh, their lineup against our lineup tonight, it, you know, you'd expect the, the score to be like that, but their top line really took it over. Panarin, uh, Zibanejad, and Goudreau, they had a heck of a game. Yeah, an effort that was... Uh, it's a pretty good effort because you manage to negate their power play. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's, that's a big factor. And score shorthanded. And there were so many, like, goals one inch one way or the other on yeah. offsides, on a goal. So it was a close game throw. And then the empty netters make it look, as Scotty said, a lot different than it really was in real, in real time. Right. And that is our Colonial Nissan game changer is that empty net goal. We know John Tortorella likes to pull Carter Hart early. I believe it was 224 around when he pulled him. With a power play. With a power play. But hey, you got to take your chances to score, right? Yeah. And it was a good uh, it was a good play here. Keandre Millis had a good game and then Truba takes the shot. Yeah, Keandre Miller with a huge block there, yeah. lead, getting an assist on that one. Truba fires it down. But I, I love the call there by Torres to pull him. You, you, you're trying to win the game. You're right. trying to tie it up. You're trying to have, do everything you can. Six on four, a lot better odds than, than five on four. Maybe a little bit better of a shot there from TK to, to get a little bit elevated, uh, you know, look for a tip, but um, they're trying their hearts out, and it was a very entertaining game, and, and like you said, that second period was uh, <laughs> was one to remember. Right, and was it that goal that you guys think really got away from him, or was it a moment before that? Well, that one ended it, I mean, yeah. basically. Uh, I don't know, it, I don't think the game really got out, away from him. That's what Scott and I were talking about, it was like, you wind back a little bit, and a game like this, they would have lost by three or four goals without the empty netters. Right. So this was a cl this was a close game here. So it's one to nothing, and then and the Rangers come right back at him, Scott. Yeah, that's that's an unreal goal there. That, that was the, to start the scoring for the Rangers. Panarin, everyone was talking about him uh, lacking the scoring touch this year. He, he's been dishing a lot, obviously, but he just goes hard to the net, uh, full throttle, and, and that offside one-timer to go that, uh, that high, that quick, was pretty impressive. And this here, Kendra Miller, we just mentioned him previously. This is a great play. He gets by with a Look at the speed he's got. Trips and then gets back up. This, I'm positive, would have been a penalty shot as he gets up. But he goes down and then gets back up and then has the hands to finish. This is not a left winger. Yeah. <laughs> this is a guy with some hands. This is a big bru bruise in defense. Yes. And, and yes. I don't know if we can see his face there. I guess we're not going to see it. His face with a little smirk on it after he scored that one. Pretty sweet. And, and then, this, yeah, this is the killer here, too. The control, once again, having the speed through uh, through the middle of the ice, go to the net. Uh, I think it was Lawton there on the backside of him. Was ahead of him. Now he's behind him. And uh, breaks yeah. the wicket. And we saw right there, about an inch would have been offside. Just watch this. Look at that. Just get your skate up off the ice. That's how close it was to being an offside play. But then again, they come in. That's the speed that they had. And that's a, that's a pretty slick move right in yeah. there close. And this, of course, is VC's that, uh, this is just two goals and two, two or three goals in two games for VC. This one is the one Hart probably, you know, is, isn't the A-plus goal against him here. Yeah, it, it's tricky. Trocek does a good job of, of keeping this one there, using his hand. And the puck is, if you see it, uh, it's it rolled up on him, rolled right? Up. So it's uh, not flat again, it's flat against the stick right there. So that when it comes off the play, it's really hard to read. Uh, it just kind of whips that thing top shelf, kind of end over end. It's really tricky for a goalie to get a read yeah. on that. So uh, you'd love to see him make that save because he's made so many good ones uh, the last couple games he's played, but uh, wasn't meant to be. Right, and you saw Carter Hart's reaction, especially on that last goal. He's coming off a game where he had 48 saves, right. tying. Well, I think he was uh, partly upset too because I think he was trying to clear it off the glass yep. and it didn't get out of the zone. Right, but it's we talk about the high expectations for Carter Hart, and even though this wasn't his best game, we talk about okay, well, what can you expect from a guy that just came off a game? He gave game? an awful lot. There were some big saves in this game. Yeah. So again, he had another strong game. Yeah, it's definitely not uh, not Carter Hart in that. He's he's given the chance uh, for the Flyers to to come out, be in these games, uh, be in the games late too when uh, you're trying to score goals it's, it's 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 a tough lesson to, to take again for the flyers but you know uh, being in these games that says a lot and, it, and it really helped that when he has a big save that this team came back the rangers right. would score and they'd come right back at him so that's that's a a good sign just in terms of what the locker room is like with a team that hasn't accumulated a lot, adding a lot of points. I have a tough work, time with that word. <laughs> <laughs> Putting a lot of points together. Just say kind of hot. Yeah, and the fight's still alive, that's for sure. All right, much more to come here on Post Game Live, presented by Cure Auto Insurance. John Tortorella's press conference coming up.
Flyers Post Game Live is presented by Pure Auto Insurance. See how much you can save at pure.com.